This is our knee model. So before we get started naming different tendons and ligaments, I just wanna point out that this is going to be a right knee. How do we know that? The tibial tuberosity is facing forward or anteriorly, so that's one structure. And we know that this bone needs to face laterally. So if we look from the posterior view, um, our fibula is facing outwards towards the lateral side away from the midline and then our tibia is facing medially, which indicates that this is going to be a right uh, leg or right knee in this case. So, and this will be very important to know that your fibula is lateral and your tibia is medial because it's gonna make naming the ligaments um, later a lot easier. So first we have the quadriceps tendon, which comes off of the rectus femoris muscle. You'll see that in lab uh, next week. And then we've got it going all the way down till it reaches about this point, which is past the patella bone, where it then becomes the patellar ligament. So quadriceps tendon, patellar ligament. We won't ever put it like right here. Um, we'll put the sticker like up a little bit, but just so you know that distinction for lecture that um, past the patella is gonna be the quadriceps tendon and then the patellar ligament is gonna be after. So like I said, knowing the tibia and fibula as medial and lateral will be really important, especially for naming our collateral ligaments. So I'm gonna teach you both names. The one I want you to know for lab will just be the medial and lateral collateral ligaments. Um, but they are called the tibial and fibular, um, or fibular, excuse me, uh, collateral ligaments. That's starting to be a change, so we'll use both for now. But the one on your test, just use the medial lateral. And again, if we know that the tibial bone is medial, then of our collateral ligaments, these ones that sit on the side, um, that's why they're called collateral. Um, they sit on the outside of the kneecap. This one is going to be the medial collateral ligament, and then this one will be the lateral collateral ligament. So again, collateral referring to, they both sit laterally when we're talking about the knee, but then when we describe it away from the knee, we're talking about it being a medial collateral ligament and a lateral collateral ligament. The last couple are gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, you'll need to spend some time with it, but I've got a really good way of remembering the order of these next few ligaments. Um, actually, let's do really quick the meniscus, uh, medial, lateral meniscus, um, really easy. So if you know this is medial, then this is also medial. So medial collateral ligament, medial meniscus, lateral collateral ligament, and then lateral meniscus. Okay, so get these to get these uh, cruciate ligaments, um, you got to think about where you are on the body. And so because we're looking posteriorly, we're looking at the knee from the back view, um, we are not going to define this one as the anterior cruciate ligament. Why? Because even though it's anterior to us, again, remembering, we have to think about it from the patient perspective. So an anatomical position, um, this is going to be the more anterior ligament of the two. So we call this the anterior cruciate ligament. And then this is the posterior cruciate ligament, cruciate meaning cross. So these are ligaments that will cross over um, from bone to bone. The one that you can't see is the patellar ligament, and that's just gonna hang out here on the back um, to connect those bones. But the way to understand the order that I like to teach students is I like to tell them the patellar ligament is anterior, as is the quadriceps tendon. So these are anterior. So patellar ligament, the anterior cruciate ligament, the posterior cruciate ligament, and then the popliteal ligament, um, which is not seen on this model, it's seen on the, the little older model. Um, so that's just a really great way to practice. And then I would also go even from posterior to anterior and know that it goes popliteal, posterior cruciate ligament, anterior cruciate ligament, and then patellar ligament. So again, let's just highlight those structures really quickly so that you can review these um, without having to listen to the whole lecture. So quadriceps tendon, patella bone, Right below that is the patellar ligament, the lateral collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament, medial meniscus, lateral meniscus, anterior cruciate ligament, posterior cruciate ligament. And that's the knee.